Hey everyone, it's Caleb Hill. Um, just got my new spot and scope in the mail yesterday, so it's been killing me to wait to open this up until today to have kind of got the camera set up, recharged, got a new SIM card because the last one was full, and those videos I didn't want to delete to make space. So we're going to be unboxing the loophole spotting scope. It is the SX4 Pro Guide HD 15 by 45 by 65. I know that's a mouthful, but that's what we got here. I'm going to be guiding up in Alaska. I head up ooh, the 30th, so here about 14 days from today. Uh, and we're going to be doing uh, caribou, bear, and do that for like two weeks and go straight into uh, sheep season. So I'll be using this guy a lot for sheep hunting. And then after that, I'll be growing in the moose and mountain goat. So I'll be kind of doing a moose hunt, doing a mountain goat. Sometimes, you know, you kill a moose and go up and do a mountain goat. You do a mountain goat and go down and kill a moose. So this thing's going to be getting a lot of walk. Um, and all different type of terrain, mountain terrain, swamp terrain. So I'm going to be able to get a good comprehensive review on this after this fall. Because this is the unboxing, brand new. At the end of this season, this thing's going to be put through a lot. If it can make it through Alaska guiding season, and I can still recommend it by then, it's one you might want to look at buying. So let's jump in, enough chatting, and I was taking gander at it. I'm, ex I'm just as excited as you guys are. Well, I hope you guys are excited. I don't know. Um, put that away. It's a big old box. Oh, man. Oh. There we go. Get rid of that. Don't need that no more. Slide the plastic bag on off. So there is the box she comes in, that's the back, and this is the front. So I'm going to give you guys a tidbit on why I went with this one, um, because voices like Swarovski or Leica, which Swarovski and all the automakers make really nice spot and scope, same way with Vortex, but one thing that I really like about Loophole is the straight angle. So when I'm looking and spotting an animal, I like to be like you pull your binoculars up, you're looking straight at it straight line through, pull your scope up, straight line through. A lot of times with some of the spot and scopes, the model you use, it's like a banana shape. So actually I have a banana, give me a second. You guys are in luck, I got some bananas. So say this is your spot and scope, and you're trying to look at the an animal, and you say he's like 14, 1500 yards away, it's this tiny little speck way on the side of the mountain. So you're right here, and instead of being able to draw straight up and just point through your eye, through your hand, and get on the animal, you have to do this number, trying to find, because you're not looking straight at it, you have that angle. And maybe, maybe it's just me and I'm just being whiny and complaining, but that's tough. For this one, this model, it's a straight shot, it's a straight, how do they, they, say, they have a certain way to say it. Spotting I don't know, but anyways, it's a straight shot. They have a short terminology that Luke would use, but you look through it and it's pointing straight at the animal the way it's designed. So that's what I, I have to have. So we'll slip it on up. I need to get off my rant and get back to the unboxing. Nice box. I want to keep that, so I'm not gonna pick it. It's got a nice box. It's packaged well. Mm. Okay, this is a nice surprise. So it's gonna come with a, a spotting scope wrap to kind of protect it. So that way, when you're using it, running through the bush, you're not beating it up quite as much. So that's a nice surprise. More like bubble, latex stuff feeling. Get rid of that. Got a little carrier thing. I don't know what you do with that. I think that's a little unuseful. Um, and then of course you have your wipe, wipe your lens, and then the spot and scope manual. Because spot and scopes are hard to figure out. <laughs> um, so we slide that out of the way. So that's useful. The wipes extremely useful. Get rid of that phone. Okay, here's what we've been waiting for. Let me go out of this box here. They did a good job with that phone. It's nice. 
It's a little heavier than I was expecting and a little bit bigger than I was expecting. But heck. Yeah. This is what it is. It's gonna take up a little bit more room in my backpack than what I was hoping for. But you know, you just gotta deal with it. It's got beautiful craftsmanship. I like it's got this grippy stuff on the side, which can come handy walking. It's got that rubbery feel. Yeah, it's nice. A lot of times, a lot of the spot and scopes would be like the solid, smooth stuff, which you're walking, you're carrying it, it's raining on your hands away. This is kind of, oh gosh, right? This slips out, you squeeze down, it pops straight off. Well, this has a bunch of rubber on it. I mean, good grip. I, mean, I like that a lot. So you have your standard tripod mount, have that there. But this is what I was talking about, how I can look straight through it and it's going to be lined up. So it's not that banana angle. Comes with scope caps, which is handy. I wish, I wish they had a good way to attach them while they wanted this fall off or be kind of connected. Um, that's kind of a bummer. It says it's got a stickle shade made in China. I hope it's just the mount. I don't like that it's made in China. That's a complaint. I like American made products. Nothing against the, the Chinese. It's just my personal preference to have American made stuff. Um, so that's a downside. I hope the whole scope's not Chinese made. Huh. I'm going to have to talk to Loophole and see if they changed, changed where they produced their products or maybe it's just a little amount. Which still is kind of annoying. But look through it. Check the glass out. Well, I'm obviously in a house, so I'm not looking very far, but I'm looking across the room, and it's looking really nice. Just to focus on it. I'm looking at a fish tank. It's looking really, it's, it's looking clear, so I enjoy that. So overall, I'm kind of, I'm liking it. Pretty simple, straightforward. Cap, this is a nice stiff bubble cap, so I enjoy that. I'm just going to have to come up with a little way, maybe tie a string to this and then what tripod, whatever tripod I put with it. Same way with this one, so I'm not losing it because you're going through the woods, just trying to hunt an animal. Sometimes you just take off and go when you don't have time to really make sure your scope cap, especially this one, that one just pops off super easy. So that one be lost in five minutes if I don't attach some string to it that's attached to this or the the tripod I connect to it. You got the loophole symbol right there. So that's the unboxing of the scope. False impressions, I like it. It's a little heavier than what I was hoping, a little longer than what I was hoping. And honestly, I'm disappointed with the uh, Made in China sticker. Because you know, Made in the USA sounds better than Made in China. Um, but it feels durable, I mean, feels solid so I feel like I could go if the animal didn't die from the shot I could go beat the animal with this and probably kill it with it so I'm happy about that loophole durability is always always king so I'm kind of how I go for it and they work really well with the outdoor industry so just kind of keep keep you updated I'll get some more walked up shots in it close shots for you uh, and then yeah give you a review at the end of the fall season so it'll be coming around November about November, in October, beginning of November is when the review will come out on this puppy right here. So here's the up close, you got the caps. Yeah, good, seems to be real good quality. Got a shade, I like that. You have the retractable shade, we can get a good angle. Coming in and out. Protecting. Keeping the sun off your lens, got the cap, got the eye relief setting. I don't really, it feels a little loose to me. Not super impressed with that, but this feels solid. You got your 15 to 45. The ta the cell itself is solid. I like that. It doesn't feel like all soft and flimsy. Um, this rotates, so I guess you have it mounted in several different ways. And then I think you clasp it down with this right here. So you tighten that down and it solids it up, which is nice. The loophole. 
65 millimeter lens. So here's the rebel case and we're going to go ahead and put it on to the spot and scope. So take the spot and scope. Figure out the best way to do this. You guys are gonna have to bear with me. I think the loop hole symbol is gonna go up. Slide that in. Pressing it up against my chest pretty good. Change the angle. caught up right there. So that's the sock on it. So overall, I mean, I mean, I like it. No, I'm going to have to see what I feel about it um, at the end of the fall. My opinion might be totally different, but I would recommend buying one. My biggest complaint is the Made in China sticker. I mean, it's just bugging the crap out of me. I don't know if you can see it all right. It's coming in the focus, maybe. I don't know. But Made in China. You have to take my word for it if you can't see it. But uh, th And then this feels loose. The eye relief doesn't... I don't know if you can hear that. That's just me being nitpicky though. But it doesn't feel as tight um, and as solid as I'd like it. Everything else, the hull itself is sturdy. Um, the glass looks good, really clear. I was looking at the fish tank over there across the room. I'll show you the fish tank. Forgive me, it's a little bit messy, not terrible. I need to do some house cleaning. Put it back to me. Yeah. But overall, you know, I'm liking it, and I'll give you guys some more feedback on it at this fall. Really good feedback, because I'm going to be using it every day for the next three to four months. So, a lot of use in Alaska. Just going to see how... So, yep, I'm going to do a little bit more testing. So, this is the Lupold Spot and Scope. It's the SX4 Pro Guide 15... 15 by 45 and you got a 65 millimeter lens so one of my favorite things about Lupone other than they have great great customer service is that they have a lifetime guaranteed warranty on it so if you break it they do a dang good job of taking care of you so it's already feels like it's built like a tank so I just was looking at that tree down in yonder so we just want to see how tough she is cat popped off so we we'll put the cat back on before we toss her again so I mean I have confidence in loophole that they're gonna stand behind their product and they understand the hunting life especially out in Alaska that you got to be tough I mean the products you use have to be tough or they're just not gonna hold up so this is a little bit more pre pre testing so beating the crap out of it, really. And I'm pretty confident that Lupo would still stand behind the product. So that cap keeps popping off, but I mean, that's a small complaint. I am tossing it pretty hard. And uh, for the people that are gonna say, oh, it's soft grass ground. Well, I'm in Missouri at the moment visiting my family and we haven't had rain, a good rain in a good while. So trust me, that, I mean, that feels like concrete right there. You can just see how dry it is. It's not soft ground by any means. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's still held up, still stay on focus. So we're going to come down here to the little pavilion. Pop this cap. The cap, the back cap stayed on well. Pop the back cap off. Take a gander through. And I'll tell you if she stayed on all right. So forgive me. I'm shooting this on my cell phone right now. So 
I got to figure out where I can, how I can do this. I might have to do the whole one-handed selfie, hold the spot and scope, look through it. The only thing I'm not super impressed with on the build is the eye relief cap. It feels kind of cheap and loose. Everything else feels like I could go and beat the animal I'm hunting with this to kill it. Wouldn't recommend that, but it feels like you could. So let's go find that tree. Look at that spider web. Things looking good. So sure enough, it's still out there on focus. Zoom straight into that spider web. And I'm not getting paid by Lupo at all, so I'm not gonna be lying to you guys. If I find a product that I think is sh crap, I'm gonna tell you. But so far, you know, I've thrown this thing about four or five times over there on hard at hard crap ground. Um, it ain't soft, and it's, I mean, it's doing just fine. Lupo sends you with this uh, cover. They have lifetime guaranteed, and I've never had any issues with any other Lupo product that I've had in the past. Um, I use, I actually use Leica binoculars though. Their customer service is, mm, but the product is really good. The rangefinder is pretty stinking sweet. Lupo just came out with the rangefinder binoculars. So I need to order me a pair of those and do a review on that and tell you what I think about them. But yep, this is, uh, that was a little random, random rant, but there's another view of the spot and scope one more time. Let's see if I can do this. This is tough. Okay, you guys are gonna have to forgive me, but there's a tree it's about 200 yards away. Can I see the close to close? Ah, spot and scope a touch to the left. You guys are gonna have to forgive me. But as you can see, it's doing a pretty, it got a good view. Not gonna lie and say it's the most clearest glass I've ever looked through, but overall it's doing the job just fine. I mean, you can see really good details with that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Loophold SX4 Pro Guide HD. I'm sorry, I always have a problem with that. But uh, there's going to be more videos coming in the future on this puppy. Um, the other loophole scopes I use, the rifles I use, the other optics I use. I use Leica. have a few Vortex. Um, I have a Myopna. Myopna, I think that's how you pronounce it. But I don't use that very often, so I might not review that. But there's going to be more videos coming, outdoor videos. I head up to Alaska in 13 days. Going to be hunting sheep, mountain goat, moose, brown bear, grizzly, black bear. Pretty much everything that walks on Alaska that you can shoot, I'll be hunting. Um, so like and subscribe if you found this entertaining and want to see more uh, content in the future. As always, keep after it. It's good talking to you. Look forward to seeing you next time.